stop working, we're working glass in the torch. It is a, um, an art form that goes back four or five hundred years. I was a sculptor for so long, uh, 20 years, and showing in Portland and up and down the coast. And after I met Henry and found a love for what he was doing in glass, um, I said, well, there needs to be a larger palette. And could not we do this if you're not able to explore the chemistry and, and develop it? Couldn't we do this? And he said, oh, no, you don't want to have employees. You don't want to have a business. And I said, oh, how hard could it be? And <laughs> it took about a year and a half to develop a business plan that was successful and uh, to raise the money uh, to start to begin a startup was complex and, and difficult, and we did that. And uh, so we began, and uh, we moved in in December 1999. The goal has always been to provide good jobs, uh, to be as accountable to our environment as we possibly can be. We use a lot of chemicals, so uh, to be as green as we could and have, work with the artists to really try promote an entirely new art form in glass. Jody and Thomas are my stepchildren and they would come up in the summertime and work in the factory and enjoyed the glass and do odd jobs. Well I was talking with Thomas about uh, you've got to develop these manuals, we've got to get them really strategically done with the job hazard analysis and Put them together in a in a healthy way that when we sell the business it's worth more and it's an easy transition and we won't have to come back to it that's the, the story we're back by the shipping area and yeah we we're talking and that came up like when we sell and that was the first time i heard that brought up and so i said wait a sec like why am i doing all this stuff <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just going to sell the place so i was like i thought so then I made it very obvious and said I would like to, you know, very much be a part of Glass Alchemy's future. When Thomas got involved, I started hearing a lot more, and I really did see the opportunity to grow an industry. I saw that community impact. And so to be able to come into Glass Alchemy and kind of work from the ground up and to help grow the business, to help explain to the community what Glass Alchemy is all about, I just saw just great potential to be able to join the family business both from working with, so much better to work for your family than it is to, for a large corporation. It's a very different experience, um, and it's something that you get to help guide your own future. For them to come into the business, um, extremely um, rewarding in a lot of ways. I was overwhelmed. I'd worked really hard to bring the kids into our world, and. Um, being the outsider, being the stepmom, um, it was a huge, it was like, ah, I did one right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it really was a sign that the blended family was working. Part of our involvement in the glass community is, um, well, as a manufacturer, we get a lot of requests for donations. And one thing that we have in place is that our donation policy is we'll donate glass to an event. Um, a lot of people do flame offs, which is where people get on the torch and they have competitions and they make pieces. And one of our requirements is that the event, if it's going to be a flame off, then you know, is there an admission fee or are the pieces going to be auctioned off? Well, we'd like to see the proceeds go to a local charity so that we can help people give back to their local communities. So I think that's been really received very well. People are excited that we are willing to donate and we're seeing more and more people have events that benefit something in their own community. When I heard we had won the award, I was in tears, literally. Um, working with Henry has been the most remarkable growth experience in my life. And the two of us building this together and working together and living together and bringing two families together has been the greatest adventure and journey I could ever imagine. When we found out that we had won this award, I have to say that was uh, profoundly effective. It, it was wow. 
It really was. Uh, I have to say that uh, I mean, I stopped me in my tracks. Uh, I got goosebumps. It had an impact. It really did. And, and that's, it, I can't say that about a lot of awards, but this time, Maybe it was because of the process you have to go through and filling out all those questions and uh, the interviews. You know, all of it all came together to say, and um, it had an impact. It was overpowering. And, uh, it wasn't just won by the family. It wasn't just won by my team. It wasn't, the customers have inspired us. Um, the leaders in my world, the. You know, Jerry Burns at the bank, Eugene Wallace, the other members of my XL group are a part of this award. Um, our other children are a part of this award, though they're not here. The, the community keeps growing and growing and growing, and they all have contributed to our celebration of this business and how we, how we function. Our value system and who we are all was embraced in this award. That's pretty special. <laughs>